Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience the Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. One, hut two, hut three. Fuck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, Buck. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Welcome everybody to Kingwood, West Virginia and this year's edition, the 2019 78th Annual Preston County Fireman's Day Grand Feature Parade. It's Thursday evening, high on the mountaintop. Terry Cochran and Peggy Cochran are street side and ready to bring you coverage of the parade from Kingwood. Hi everyone and welcome. Street side as tonight is the the big 78th annual Fireman's Day Parade right here in Kingwood. Peg, a good crowd on hand once again. There's they're filing in and getting ready for uh, what we hope to be a really nice parade today. Pretty much perfect parade weather. Uh, perfect buckwheat festival weather. Couldn't ask for anything better. Current temperature is about 74 degrees, and there is a slight chance of rain in the air for Saturday, but I think it's going to pass out and leave us with a beautiful festival. Hey, you can see street side now on uh, some of the guys that are and all the kids that are sitting around getting ready for this big parade to start here just in a little while. As always, we always like to honor all of the uh, court members, and sometimes as they pass in the parade, we don't have enough time to acknowledge who all they are. So I randomly like to go through some of the names. Um, junior princesses this year, Caitlin Baker, daughter of Christy and William Bach, and Chris Baker of South Preston. Brenna Bischoff, daughter of Dwayne and Tammy Bischoff of Brewston. Jos Jocelyn Brake, daughter of Brandon and Joyce Brake of Rollsburg. Margot Serboni, 
daughter of David and Lena Cerboni of Central Preston. Avery Colbank, daughter of Aaron and Carrie Colbank of Aurora. Rosalind Kramer, daughter of John Kramer and Stacy Strogan of East Preston. And Allie Fitchett, daughter of CJ and Melissa Fitchett of East Preston. Also, we have Elena Phillips, daughter of Terry and Hannah Phillips of Rollsburg. Marley Phillips, daughter of TJ and Bridget Phillips, representing West Preston. Peyton Rumor, daughter of Douglas and Rebecca Rumor of Aurora. Avery Shahan, daughter of Douglas and Lori Shahan of Central Preston. Lexi Shaw, daughter of Jason and Misty Shaw of Brewston. Emily Schillingberg, daughter of Stephen and Kitty Schillingberg of West Preston. And last but not least, Taryn Veltry, representing South Preston, daughter of James and Twyla Veltry. Senior Princesses, Lydia Farrell of Kingwood. Tori Garlitz of Kingwood. Karen Kerrigan Hawthorne <laughs> of Kingwood. Jenna Kisner of Arthurdale. Caitlin Miller of Brewston Mills. Emily Passerby of Kingwood. Macy Roy of Kingwood. Marianne Wolf of Tunnelton. Escorts for this year are Shane Farrell of Kingwood, Jesse Gribble of Kingwood, John Harris of Reedsville, Ethan Haskell of Terralta, Corbin Lipscomb of Tunnelton, Bryson Rodeheaver of Aurora, Hayden Thomas of Valley Point, and Holden Thomas of Brewston Mills. Our children's court, Jace McCleary, Bryson Teets, Kinsley Rousey, Colin Sheets, Chloe Stuchel, Bailey Wheeler, Adrian Bernadowitz, Emma Goodrich, Elena Liston, Cash Bischoff, Scarlett Hayes, and Caitlin Kelly. Congratulations to all of you, and we'll run down our maids and our queen and our king as time comes through. Uh, we have to get through a lot of those names because they come by us so quickly right here. There's no way that we can get everybody... Uh, talked about in that little amount of time so we try to get that in early and Peg does a wonderful job of announcing all those young men and women and we'll see him here shortly it's almost parade time Peg the streets are really filling up uh, going to have a nice crowd on hand this evening yeah it's looking that way and um, Terry do we have major sponsors this year yes we do we do, and you can see them right, one of them right behind us, the big sign in behind us, uh, Mon General Hospital, Preston Memorial. Uh, we can't thank those guys enough. They've been a major sponsor for this parade for so many years, and without them, uh, we just could not do this. And right along with Mon Health, Preston Memorial Hospital, is Stone Paving this year. Stone Paving is another major sponsor for, the, for all of our parades, all of our basketball games, all of our football games, everything that we bring you on Cable Channel 7, those two major sponsors are the reason why. So if you see Richie Stone out somewhere, let him, let him know. Say thank you, Richie, for all your help. And all the people from Preston Memorial Hospital, we thank them too. Yeah, if it's not, if it wasn't for them supporting us, we wouldn't be able to support the community and bring these telecasts to you. Our first maid of honor this year is Brooke Deberry. She's the daughter of Craig and April Deberry of Kingwood. First runner up to King Buckwheat, Tyler Pomroy, the son of Kenny and Suenette Pomroy of Terralta. Second maid of honor, Bailey Teeter, daughter of Tony and Christina Teeter of Kingwood. And second runner up to King Buckwheat, Charles Sisler, son of Daniel and Brandy Sisler of Terralta. Well, tonight's the fireman's parade. That's one of the special times for me as I was in a volunteer fireman for many, many years in the Reedsville Fire Department. So I really like uh, seeing all these trucks come through tonight and seeing King Fireman come through. It's a, it was a special honor for all these people to, to be King's fireman. And uh, Pat... 
Passing off the hats this year is from our own local fire department, Reedsville Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, last year's King Fireman was Clinton Adkins, and the Lady Fireman was Judy, his wife. Uh, our Lady Fireman, the 29th for this year, is Mrs. Eva Betty Motes, uh, honored by her by the members of Rollsburg. Roseburg Volunteer Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary by being chosen as Lady Fireman, the 29th. She is a 29-year-old member of the Reedsville Vol or Roseburg Volunteer Fire Department. And our King Fireman for this year is King Fireman the 72nd, Daryl David Motes, representing also Roseburg, Roseburg Volunteer Fire Department. Yeah, he's the uh, son of Albert Motes and Della Motes. He's is a 1975 graduate of Rollsburg High School. <clears throat> and Eva Betty Ann Motes, they've been married, uh, let's see, in 1981. In 1981, Daryl began working for the town of Rollsburg. So the king and queen are married. Yeah. I didn't realize, <laughs> or, or I should say king fireman and lady fireman. I didn't realize they were married. Yeah. Okay, so a lot going on here this evening. Um, core, the the uh, 2019 coronation official for King Fireman, the 72nd, is Mr. Clinton Atkins from my home uh, fire department, the Reedsville Volunteer Fire Department. Yeah, I just you talked that. about that. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. And his wife is the lady fireman official. Yep. Well, I can see way down at the other end, the uh, flag bearers are standing by, so we're almost ready. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with the start of this parade, the 78th Annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival. We'll be right back. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. The Transitional Care Program at Preston Memorial Hospital is an alternative for acute patients who need a little extra help before returning home. Services include physical, occupational, and speech therapy, patient and family education, personal care assistance, individualized care plans with daily activities, and 24-hour nursing care. Our team works to ensure a smooth return to independent living. For more information on the Transitional Care Program at Preston Memorial Hospital, visit us online or call 304-791-3733. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. One, hut two, hut three. Fuck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, bye. You better get in there and get my winter treads on 
and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. All right, Peg, we're back, and we're underway. The 78th Annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival Fireman's Day Parade. We see the honor guard coming through right now. That'll be Preston High School Junior ROTC bringing us our colors this evening. Everyone standing for the American flag as it goes by. Beautiful sight as they start up the main street here in Kingwood. There goes the color guard. Followed up by the Kingwood City Police will be after the honor guard. We'll be seeing some of them here in a little bit. Preston ROTC, good looking group. As they come by, the last units dropping by have the uh, American flag, the large American flag. That's really nice to see. Good job by the ROTC. Followed up by the Kingwood City Police, the Preston County Sheriff's Department, the West Virginia State Police, and the West Virginia DNR will all be filing through with their units. Kingwood City Police in the in view right now as they kick off the Fireman's Day Parade. Here we go, Peg. A couple Harleys. Police officers riding their Harleys through the parade today. Our chairman for this year, Mr. Dave Brown, general chairman, and his yeah. wife, Sheila. See him going through right now. They'll be picking him up here in a minute. Dave must have done a really good job last year as, gen as uh, uh, the assistant, assistant general chairman. chairman. That's right. You know how they always say the assistant general chairman determines the weather for the following year. Good shot of the Clear Mountain Bank Roadster. Now, right behind Dave Brown, we have the assistant chairman, Mr. Buddy Turner. He's got some something to uphold this year. Well, yeah, he does. First, we're watching... David go by for the last time. Now we see Buddy Turner as he makes the turn. There's the assistant general chairman. And he's got the weather to worry about for next year. But it was his job for this year, wasn't it? And he's doing a pretty good job. Right behind him is uh, Colby Ware and our uh, Scott Bexfield. There's 
A shot of Colby Ware and Scott Bexfield, the Farm Farmers Day chairman and his assistant. Right behind that is the uh, emergency apparatus uh, parade judges. That's Mr. John Feather, along with Mr. Larry Max, our Marshall, Larry Marshall, and an old friend of mine, Mr. Bernie Moyers. They're the judges. There's old Bernie in the front seat. Yep. There's Tower 5 from Kingwood just passing us. Get another look at that truck here in a second. Beautiful ladder truck. Several of our Kingwood units. Purchased by the Kingwood Volunteer Fire Department for rescue and large building fires. Tower 5. Then right behind that is uh, one of the emergency apparatus trucks, engine 56 from Kingwood. Another pumper, probably 1,500 gallon per minute pumper for Kingwood, one of their newer units. Behind that is their rescue, Squad 5. It'll be coming into view here in a minute. Large rescue truck. There she is, Squad 5. It's got the jaws of life and all the tools for rescue, for heavy rescue. Okay, Peg, I think now we're going to move into all the queens and maids of honor and all that that we already talked about. There we have our, uh, I believe, the junior royalty. Junior royalty making the turn, starting up Main Street. Beautiful. Followed by our senior princesses. Yeah, we'll see that coming into sight now. All the senior princesses and their escorts. King Buckwheat this year is Hunter Wade Thomas, son of Greg and Crystal Thomas of Brewston Mills. And Queen Series, the beautiful Madeline Sophia Warnick, daughter of Kim George and Mike Warnick of Kingwood. And there we got them coming into view. King and Queen Buckwheat. 78th annual. Good shot. Now we're going to the Preston Middle School. Now this is the Preston County Unified Middle School Band. They're making the turn and heading up towards the reviewing stand. That's all the schools from all over Preston County. And there are six middle schools in the county, Aurora, Brewston, East Preston, Now I think you'll see Central representing themselves this evening. Yep, Since South this is Preston. Their home turf. They wear their uh, local band's uniforms. So we can see the different colors from the different schools here in Preston County. Over 100 in this band tonight. There we have Clinton and Judy right behind them. Last year's uh, King Fireman and Lady uh, Fireman. They are this year's coronation officials. Yeah. And then Judy from the Reedsville Volunteer Fire Department. Of course, with all the lights. Oh, he's driving. Yeah, he's She's riding. <laughs> <laughs> and Reedsville Fire Department right behind them with uh, one of their unit 96 with some of the people. Reedsville's main pumper coming into view here in a minute. There's Scott, chief of the Reedsville Fire Department. In 96. Now I know why he got all cleaned up. Tonight. Yeah, that's right. Right behind that's their main line pumper. Nice unit from Reedsville. It's a pumper tanker. 
once again, we spoke earlier about King Fireman and Lady Fireman, Mr. and Mrs. Daryl Moats. Yeah, there's Daryl up on top. Up on top there, they are. King Fireman and Lady Fireman. Congratulations to both of them. And some of the units from Rollsburg following up behind King, their king. This is uh, one of the uh, units that could be purchased during the, one of their raffles coming up here on the on the trailer. Nice side by side, and the uh, the boat was purchased from fire levy funds. That's pretty good. The Re the Rollsburg Volunteer Fire Department. Get a good look at them. Okay, now you'll see some more of our um, middle school. This is Central Preston Wildcat Band from right here in Kingwood. Michael Schaefer's the director. Major is Lana Wilson. Their uniforms are burgundy and gray. As they work their way up to the reviewing stand, doing an excellent job. Wow, those lines are as straight as can be, Peg. One exciting thing happening tomorrow, Terry, is the greatest thing that happens in the Cow Palace, the Liam Dressing Contest. We'd like to invite you to stop down at 4.30 in the Cow Palace for the Liam Dressing Contest tomorrow. I am impressed with that Central Preston van. Very good job by Michael Schaefer. Now we're looking at the Brookhaven Volunteer Fire Department. One of their engines dedicated to serve since 1953. Brookhaven Fire Department. Closed cab. That can keep the firemen in, get them warmed up on a cold winter day. Good job. We're having to do a little winging at this time because <laughs> things are kind of bouncing around from what our list says. Uh, another thing happening that we'd like to invite you out to is Sunday. The Buckwheat Festival Car Show. Registration is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Registration fee of $10. Uh, contact Terry Donk on Facebook if you're interested. Have any questions? Trophies awarded to the top 60 entries. This happens down at the um, Cal Palace? Craig Civic Craig Center. Craig Civic Center, okay. Got a shot of the Brewston Randonville Ambulance Service. They make the turn. Saw a hazmat truck go through just a little bit earlier. I believe we missed that one. Coming up real soon is one of the bands we'll want to see. Morgantown Mohegan, Mohegan Marching Band. Another unit from Brewston Brandonville just made the turn. Right now is the Morgantown Marching Band. Laura Atkinson and Eva Cece are your field commanders at Penn Majorettes. And Pete Reed is the director. So let's enjoy Morgantown High School. 
Till they got way up the street, so we didn't get to hear them. Tear out an ambulance. Yep, tear out an ambulance coming through, and then another unit it has Smokey the Bear. Let's get Smokey the Bear on TV. There he is. Love old Smokey. And right behind them, we're going to see another band coming into view. And that's the Billington Middle School. Under the direction of T.J. Dalton. Waynesburg, your old antique fire truck. I love that truck. Two sure units from that. Waynesburg, and then we'll be followed up by Waynesburg. Marching band? Yep. Boy, that, that is a beautiful antique. I'd like to mention that the 2019 program book is dedicated to Mr. and Mrs. Bill Lindley. Thank you for all your service and hard work and dedication to the Preston County Buckwheat Festival and the Kingwood Fire Department. It's the third Waynesburg unit to come through, a small pickup they use for uh, carrying all their apparatus to brush fires and things like that. 
have flashing lights in my eyes. <laughs> like, I'm trying to read and I see these blinking lights. Uh, um, we would like to pay tribute to Charles Horton Brown this year. And as I say, I would read, but I have these flashing lights as I'm <laughs> trying to read. It is difficult. These night parades are difficult. All right, here's the Waynesburg Central High School band coming into view. The director is Doug Mason. They're in the Division II total marching units of between 61 and 100. They're just contending today, the firemen's parade, so this will be the only time you get to see them is right now. Can you pronounce the uh, field commander? Anna Haverlesco. Haverlesco. We're going to go with that. Their mascot are the, is the Raiders. Today for us, they're going to play the Big J March. There's 65 in this band. So let's enjoy the Waynesburg Central High School Band. a few of the uh, Kingwood Volunteer Fire Department officers. Um, we have President Tom Robinson, Vice President Dave Brown, Treasurer Tim Talford, Assistant Treasurer Joe Smith, Secretary Mike Schaefer, Assistant Secretary Ethan Rousey, Fire Chief Perry Brown, or Perry Barlow, I'm sorry, First Assistant Chief Ethan Rousey, Captain Chad Matheny, Lieutenant Matt Barrow and Lieutenant Scott Baxter. Thank you all for your service. All right, Waynesburg is going to play right now, so let's try to catch them. Waynesburg Franklin Township fire apparatus going through right behind the Waynesburg band. I think we'll get another look at that truck. Really nice engine. That's engine 7. Waynesburg fire. Another enclosed cab pumper. Another unit from Waynesburg follows that up. That's their Tower 61. It's a sharp looking truck. Yes it is. Taking the turn right now. Almost can't make the turn. 100 foot aerial ladder at least. Now we see it coming into view. Tower 61 from Waynesburg. Two really nice units brought down here today. Preston County Buckwheat Festival. What a beautiful evening here it is. Nice weather. It's gotta be in the 65, 70 range, 65 probably. Who's up next, Peg? I think it's the Jefferson Morgan. Jefferson Morgan Rocket Band under the direction of Dana Sevenson. 
and um, the drum major and field commander's drum major is Shelby Burkett, and the field conductor is Molly Milan. 52 strong participating in the Preston County Buckwheat Festival of Firemen's Day Parade. Currently 70 degrees and the stars are twinkling and there's no clouds in sight. What a great evening for a large aerial ladder truck from Oakland, Maryland. As they come through, that's uh, Unit 44 from Oakland. 100% volunteer, I like that. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Unit 44 from Oakland, Maryland. I am going to fall off my wagon, or er, diet wagon, <laughs> and um, indulge in some buckwheat cakes and sausage for sure this weekend. However, if you're one of those indulgers and you get that feeling for buckwheat cakes and sausage and you just have that hankering after the festival's over. The fire department, every second Sunday of each month at the community building, sponsors a breakfast and you can indulge in the buckwheat cakes and sausage then. The Zelk District Fire Department just went through with their uh, unit. Now we have another middle school marching band. It's the Philippi Middle School Band under the direction of Joseph Bowen. 49 members strong. Let's listen to the Bulldogs. Springs Volunteer Fire Department in your view right now at the unit. They're from just right up the old Kingwood Pike. Right behind Cool Springs is Southern Garrett Rescue Squad, one of their rescue trucks. They probably should have squeezed in behind Oakland. There it is, Southern Garrett Rescue. Well, Southern Garrett has their own representation. Yes, I know. Coming but they're up, up real soon. Right behind that is Grant Town Volunteer Fire Department. Their little mini pumper. Getting to see in view is the uh, Southern Garrett Marching Band, right? Okay. Yep, under the direction of Jason Shaw. Drum major Tony Teeter. Okay. 44 in this band.
Cassville Volunteer Fire Department coming into view with a mini pumper. There's a huge cricket crawling on my rug right beside <laughs> my feet, and if it jumps on me, you're liable to hear a big <laughs> war hoop. Cassville Volunteer Fire Department. Nice looking mini, extended cab. And right behind them is the tear out of Volunteer Fire Department. 11160 engine, another mini pumper. From our neighbors up on the mountain, tear out of Volunteer Fire Department. Now on the fire That's the tear out of volunteer fire department. Right behind that unit is the Tunnelton Volunteer Fire Department. Their mainline pumper. It's a rescue pumper, so they carry rescue tools also on that truck peg. Nice looking unit from the Tunnelton Volunteer Fire Department. I think they just got something brand, uh, not brand new, but new to them. I'm wondering Recently. if that's not uh, coming up here shortly. Maybe a couple new units. It's rescue 12 from the Tunnelton Volunteer Fire Department. That's their newest rescue truck. They do a lot of rescue calls out that way. A lot of car wrecks, car accidents. So a nice unit from the Tunnelton Volunteer Fire Department. I'm sure they're really happy with that unit. This is the one I'm talking about, coming around the curve. Yeah, another tanker. This is Tanker 12 coming up right now. And we're panning to it right now. There it is. Tanker 12. That's one of their newer units. We're seeing an awful lot of blood, sweat, and tears yeah. uh, go by here. You're not you know, kidding. These things don't just Grow show up trees. Uh, in your garage in your fire department. No. Uh, it takes a lot of gun bashes, a lot of cash bashes, a lot of buckwheat cake and sausage, sausage dinners, dinners, a lot of uh, truck pulls, tractor pulls. People don't understand that um, these things just just don't happen. They, you know, they're not awarded to these departments. All of these departments are volunteers. These volunteers get out and raise these funds to make these things available for our safety. Yep. So all Mount Morris go through and Newburgh and two or three other departments as we was talking there. There's another unit from Mount Morris. You know, the units like that, Peg, you're, you can have $300,000 in a unit like that. And, that. and it's probably even more than that. Some of these units are $500,000. Um, it's unbelievable to have to raise that kind of money in a small town. There's the Albright, Albright Volunteer Fire Department with their heavy rescue. Rounding the turn is also one of the Albright Volunteer Fire Department uh, engines. It's engine five from Albright. Well, we're approaching the end of um, tonight's parade, Terry. I'd like to remind everyone when you stop down to the livestock booth, uh, the, the barns, Stop by and say hello to the Mauser family, celebrating 50 years of exhibiting in the Buckwheat Festival, Art and Anna Mauser and their families. Thank you so much for your dedicated service.
right now is the Preston High School Marching Band. Under the direction of Deborah Westbrook and Assistant Director Shauna Bloom, Drum Major and Field Commander Heidi Gidley. 168 strong. Congratulations, Preston High Knights. It's always good to watch them come through right at the end of the parade. Preston High School Marching Band. Finishing up with the flags. I can stretch it out on that long road up through there, almost up to McDonald's already. More fire apparatus coming through as some of the people are beginning to leave the parade route after the nights that went through. But there's still more coming, so we'll catch a few more of these units. It looks maybe to be like six or eight more um, emergency units to come through. The Carmichael's looks like township unit that's coming through right now. It's doing one of the pickups from down in Carmichael's. Please pass the word to all your friends. You can tune in anytime to youtube.com forward slash cable seven and you will find us. Uh, you can watch the parades at your convenience and share with your families and friends that are near and far. Triune Halleck going through right now, followed by a unit from the Fellowsville Volunteer Fire Department. That's a rescue pumper from Fellowsville. That's Triune Halleck. That's a small rescue. Fellowsville with their rescue pumper. Following that is, uh, I believe, the Kitzmiller Rescue Squad 75. Well, it was in our view. There it is. Nice looking truck from on the mountaintop, Kitzmiller. Some more apparatus and a couple more bands coming. So we were wrong, Peg. They mixed us up this year. Well, it had to be a late arrival. And it 
has to be Philip Barber High School, I do believe. That's the Mason Town Fire Department. Chase 61. The chief vehicle from Mason Town. And then behind that's the Mason Town Volunteer Fire Department Water Rescue Team. Uh, you can see the on top of the trailer they have the inflatable boat and everything ready to go for water rescue. Pumper in view right now from Mason Town. And you're right, Peg, right after that will be the Phil Barber High School marching band. There's Mason Town. And now we're looking at the Phil Barber Colts marching band. Director. Victor Iapalusi. I like that. Iapalusi. Iapalusi. I like that. Iapalusi. There's actually 97 members in this band tonight. Field commander is Jacob Baker. Assistant drum majors are Katie Bowen and Lydia Mace. Listen to the Philip Barber High School Band. Barber Marching Band is a unit from the Aurora Volunteer Fire Department. Up on the mountain, actually, we're going to see a couple units from the Aurora Volunteer Fire Department. And I love the big American flag side of their unit. Their mainline pumpers first. There's a good shot of that American flag. And then right behind it, Actually, one of their brush firefighting equipment for brush fires. We'd like to invite you all to come tomorrow at noon and um, experience the coronation of King Buckwheat and Queen Series. That's a special event here in Kingwood every every year. Friday at noon, the parade will be at two o'clock. Saturday, the Farmers Day Parade will begin at noon. you all out to uh, that's uh, got some special things coming up with that parade the Mauser family being here 50 years we'll talk about that after a while I just did while you were away <laughs> Lots of exhibits, lots of food, lots of entertainment. Stop on down to the Preston County Bunkley Festival. Union EMS. And River Road Volunteer Fire Department with their mini pumper. Right now. That's a good looking truck. I like the way they lettered that up. Good job by River Road Volunteer Fire Department. Even those units are sixty, seventy thousand dollars just for a small mini pumper. River Road Volunteer Fire Department probably couldn't touch one for a hundred thousand dollars. I was going to say um, a pickup cost you sixty, seventy thousand. Yeah, that's right. 
Kingwood Volunteer Fire Department units. That was the last unit probably of the parade. That's unit five going through right now. And that will end it for us. Pretty much wraps things up for the 78th annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival Fireman's Day Parade. Yeah, bring it back to, uh, you can see the crowd, and we're going to come thank everyone for coming out and watching us this evening here on Cable Channel 7, your hometown TV station. Thanks again to um, our, our major sponsors for this nice. Yes. Oh, yes. We want to talk about our major sponsors, and one right behind us, uh, Mon Help, Preston Memorial Hospital. Couldn't be happier to have them as a major sponsor. Once again, for all the parades, all of our football, basketball coverage, and also for Stone Paving. Stone Paving, our other major sponsor. And we thank uh, Richie Stone for jumping in this year and helping us out. And we have other sponsors too that you'll see during the telecast. And we want to you know, take time. We'll be thanking them tomorrow. Uh, but thanks to all the the people, uh, Nelson Corbin for this, for our lift that gets us up in the air for our camera. Uh, he provides that every year for us. We can't thank Nelson. You know, he's just been great to us. <laughs> well, Peg, any last thoughts? Nope. All right. I'm ready to go eat some buckwheat cakes, and I'll see you tomorrow. Recent studies have shown that people who complete a cardiac rehabilitation program can increase their life expectancy by up to five years. Preston Memorial Hospital's cardiac rehab team helps you begin and maintain a treatment plan that works for you. They offer education and support to make healthy lifestyle changes that fit your needs. We're here to help you live longer and enjoy life. Most insurance plans are accepted. Please contact your doctor or our cardiac rehab center at 304-329-3429. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the, the Delano's difference. difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. One, hut two, hut three. Fuck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, bud. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. 